gonna transition into homework check and our lesson. So please take out your homework. The first problem we're gonna be taking a look at is problem number eight. I have a volunteer with a strong silent hand, so please read problem number eight for us. Um, Jordan, nice and loud. Stop, check, oh. Okay, who can start us off by just giving us the formula you're going to need to find the area of our parallelogram? Go ahead, Jordan. Uh, I said A equals B times H. Great. So we have A equals B times H. You are 100% correct. Our B stands for what? B is the what? Daniela? Base. The base, or the bottom of our shape. And what does the H stand for, Jeffrey? The height. The height, perfect, 60. Which answer choice up here is about 60? If you think it's A, hold up one finger. If you think it's B, hold up two fingers. If you think it's three, hold, or C, hold up three fingers. And if you think it's D, hold up four. Which one is about 60? I see lots of people locked in. All right, Angel, what are you going with? A. A, silent means two if you're gonna go with Angel and say A. Great, did you have to even like do anything fancy with your decimals? No, you could just use mental math and get the right answer by using estimation. Today's objective is on the board. Can I have somebody in a loud, proud voice? Please read it, Lexi. Students will be able to create, compare, and describe nets that can be folded into a three-dimensional cube. Our task today, so like, will you read this for us nice and loud? <coughs> Your job is to help Kenny come up with multiple designs that will fold into a cube while eliminating any designs that will not fold into a cube. You are going to have a cutout of every single one of the nets that are on your prediction sheet. And you're going to take them out and you're actually going to try to build the cubes to test if your prediction works. So you're going to fold it up. If you can successfully make a cube, you're going to go back and write down, yes, this made a cube. Was I right or was I wrong? To see how many of the designs Kenny will be able to make into a cube and how many he's going to have to eliminate. You have a minute to be sitting in a cluster with your group. You can rearrange the desk. How about this? Are we working partners and then talk together? I you guys all ready? So you two work together. We can work together. And First, then, we'll, do, we'll do the prediction, all four of us, and then we'll separate the, um, the net, and then we'll talk to each other. Yeah, you can't, like, make a diagonal square. That's the back side. How many individual squares do you think there needs to be to make up a cube? There has to be, um, like, six Ones faces. on the sides. Yeah. Right? Six yeah. faces, right? So, let's try it. To predict. So you're going to predict no. You're also predicting now. Angel, are you predicting now? And Jordan, you also predicting now? Okay. Me. I know. That's why this one does. Look, yeah. This one does. It has seven sides. So it has an extra, right? Did that work? No. And you guys told me it needed how many? Six. I said too many sides. Yep. Six. Eight. 